Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hey guys, it's Jun, and uh, yeah, I'm back, sort of. Okay, I'm not making any promises, but I'm hoping to release a lot more content this year. And I'm starting that with a quarantine EP. So I just got back from Indonesia. I'm back in Taiwan right now. And Taiwan has 14 days of quarantine. 14 days. On top of that, there's like a seven day self health management thing that I have to go through, which is at home. Uh, so that's a lot better than being at the hotel for two weeks. I'm fucking going crazy. So instead of staring at the wall for 21 days, I wanted to try and challenge myself to do something a little bit more productive. And um, so I decided to try to write an EP. I'm gonna try and challenge myself to write an EP within the 21 days that I have to stay indoors. And I know there are challenges out there like, I wrote a whole album in 69 seconds, but uh, I'm just not as talented as those guys. <laughs> so yeah, 21 days seems doable for me for like a four to five song EP, maybe. But um, I wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys my quarantine hotel setup. So, boom. Uh, so yeah, here is my quarantine setup. Uh, let's start with the laptop since it's nothing special. It is a 2018 MacBook Pro that I got from work and it's fine. Uh, actually, it's not fine. So for this track in particular, I have 17 tracks and um, a bunch of neural DSP plugins, but the problem isn't actually the guitars. Um, every time there are drums, um, the computer just crashes. So for example, this section over here, So yeah, that's been happening. Um, yeah, I know I can bounce everything down, but uh, I'm too lazy for that, honestly. I just want to have everything trackable, everything programmable, like at the ready. Uh, but oh well, whatever. Connected to the laptop, I have an Audience ID14 Mark II. And first and foremost, like holy shit, this is a gorgeous interface. Like look at that space gray. Ooh, god damn. But it sounds really good too. Um, I believe Audion is known for their instrument inputs being super clear uh, and their JFET instrument inputs or something. And um, yeah, it sounds really good. I have two audio outputs connected to this. Uh, the first being the iLoud micro monitors. Uh, they sound as good as all the reviewers say, uh, especially for the size. It's insane. The bass response is super clear. The next thing I have, these are really special. These are the Sonarworks tuned Sennheiser HD 650s. Um, they sound amazing. And since it's in the frame right now, I guess I'll show you guys the instrument of choice. Uh, right now, I have a Schecter Banshee Mach 7 with an Evertune. So it has a three-way pickup switch uh, with a split coil and just standard tone and volume. The Evertune, I can't, I can't even begin to express how useful having an Evertune on your guitar is. These come stock with uh, Lundgren M7 pickups, which also sound insane. It has the truss rod adjustment at the base of the neck, stainless steel frets with the Roman numeral inlays. It has a reverse headstock with Schechter branded locking tuners. And I put this Grove Gear fret wrap on it because it actually does get kind of noisy behind the nut. It has Luminlay side dots as well, which have saved me a ton uh, during live shows. So this might be a live guitar someday. So this has been my guitar of choice. Back to the rig. Uh, the last thing I have is this Complete Control M32 keyboard. And um, I don't really know how to play the piano, so I just press the white keys and hope things come out. I've actually been using the DAW control a lot uh, since it's closer to my fingers and I don't wanna reach over to the keyboard. I'm using Logic Pro as my uh, DAW of choice right now because that's what's installed on my work computer. And as for plugins, I'm just using uh, GGD and Neural DSP, right? the prog starter pack, right? And for synths, I'm actually just using the stock Logic stuff like Alchemy and all that. And that's my quarantine setup. So if you guys have any questions on uh, how all of this works, how it feels to play, uh, I actually don't know how this is framed. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And um, I guess this ends 
the gear portion of this video. I want to explain where I've been for the past um, three or four years away from YouTube. <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. Uh, my Polyphia video blew up. Like it got like 300,000 views or something. And I got like 8,000 subscribers now, which is insane. But then, uh, of course, you can't really release a Polyphia video without a Chon video as well. And that was one of the most requested videos at the time. I worked really hard on that Chon video and it has a lot more information than the Polyphia one. That video is like 21 minutes long. I know it's a really long video, but I wanted to make sure that I got all the information that I thought was relevant into that video. And um, it didn't do as well as the Polyphia one. Now, I think there are a lot of factors in why that didn't happen. First and foremost being the thumbnail. I mean, the Polyphia thumbnail, it's like, I'm all hype beasty and shit. I'm wearing the Polyphia outfit, right? And I think it does attract a lot of viewers to that video. But then for the Chon one, I think I just slapped a picture from their Instagram and put my face on it and like, that's it. In terms of the content itself, I do think that the music video could have been better because this time around, I was a one-man team. Yeah, I think that's why the video didn't do too well. I might change the thumbnail uh, if I ever get a chance to actually go out and do a photo shoot with this COVID stuff going on. So after all that, the third most requested artist was Pliny. And I hit a wall, basically. Anything that I wrote that I thought was Pliny-esque just didn't gel well with me it wouldn't have been anything that I would have been proud to release. And I and there was another big factor that sort of discouraged me from releasing videos, and that was that I didn't have a camera anymore. So for the first two videos, I actually borrowed my uni friend's camera, and she had a Sony RX100 Mark V, I think, which at the time was a really good compact camera. But then, since I didn't have access to it anymore and I didn't have a proper camera, I didn't want to release a video where the quality of the video just drastically decreased. Like I'd be going from something that actually looks really good to phone quality. And at the time, 2019, um, the camera technology in phones just wasn't up to par. Nowadays, I think you can get away with using a smartphone as your video camera. I mean, I'm using a smartphone right now. But back in the day, uh, there was a drastic difference of quality. And I think people would have noticed. Uh, I'm not sure if people would have cared, but I cared. So yeah, I got really demotivated from those factors and I think I only uploaded like three videos across the span of two years. But during that time, I still did put out content, just not on YouTube. I actually became very active on Instagram and that's something that I am still active on. So if you guys do want to follow me, if you give a fuck, my Instagram handle is at fat joned. And yes, that's how you pronounce joned. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can follow me there if you want to. Uh, links in the description and everything. But I am hoping that this year will be different and that I'll upload more videos. Uh, it might not all be like how to play like your favorite artist. It might just be things that I'm interested in in the music world or gear reviews or plugin reviews, uh, maybe a few lessons in between. And I still will have the how to play like series. I'm pretty sure that's what you're all here for. But like I said in the previous videos, these how to play like videos take a lot of time to make so i do really thank you all for your patience and i do hope that you guys stick around for the future of this channel i never expected the polyphia videos to blow up like that i never expected that i'd get like 8,000 subs and because of that um over the last two or three years i was actually able to earn enough to buy a camera of my own and Words can't even describe how that feels. And honestly, I can't thank everyone enough for all your support and for actually taking the time to check out my stupid videos. I mainly consume a lot of YouTube content. And this time I feel like this is the year where I feel confident in contributing to the pool of content on YouTube. I really do want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and watching my videos and subscribing and sticking around to the end of this video because that means <laughs> you actually care about my content. So yeah, shameless plug now. I've been busy with my bands as well. Uh, Slowing Oscillation, Zangief, 
inertial addiction, uh, all that stuff in the description below, Instagram handles, blah, blah, blah. And the last thing I wanna say is, um, Ibanez, where are you at? Let me simp for you. Come on, let's get in touch. All right, anyways. <laughs> Fuck. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, until next time, peace.